So with two players, uh, or two people trying to divide, uh, something, the simplest method we can use is called the divider-chooser method, or sometimes called the you-cut-I-choose, uh, approach. So this is a really simple approach. You've probably seen it in, uh, things like peanut butter commercials, where, you know, there's a sandwich, maybe, uh, and it needs to get cut in half, and so, uh, the parent tells one of the kids, okay, you go ahead and cut it in half, but then, you know, Billy here gets to choose first. And so the idea is the divider is going to want to divide the, the sandwich in half as evenly as possible, so that in their eyes, each half is worth 50% because they don't know which of the pieces the other person's going to pick. And so, uh, they want to divide it evenly, and then the chooser, it, the second player, gets to choose whichever piece they value more, whichever piece they would like. Uh, now this, it's important to note here that people's values might be different. So let's say, for example, we had, uh, a, a cake. So here's a lovely cake, uh, and it's got this big rose of frosting over here in the corner. Uh, and so maybe, maybe, maybe Janice is the divider, and Janice really loves her frosting. And so when she divides the cake, she goes ahead and divides it here because she thinks that this piece is worth a lot more, and so because it's got the frosting, uh, even though it's smaller in size, it balances out with this larger piece over here. And maybe, uh, maybe Sam, who's the chooser, looks at these two pieces and says, gee, I don't really care about frosting, uh, this piece is bigger, uh, so to me, this piece is worth, is worth 60%, and so I'm gonna take this piece. And so, the divider in this case gets a piece that they value as 50%, while the chooser might end up with something they worth, they value more than 50%, uh, Sam might end up with something he values at 60% here. Uh, and so it's entirely possible that the values of each player might be different. So let's look at this, t this scenario. Two retirees, Fred and Martha, buy a f vacation beach home in Florida together, and they agree that they're gonna split the year into two parts and, uh, and, and then, you know, share the, share the, uh, the beach house. And so, uh, let's, again, re it's hard to describe fair division methods without knowing the actual preference of each pe person. So, when we talk about these, we'll often state, and let's imagine that his preferences are. So, Fred, let's say Fred is our divider, and Fred decides, I'm going to divide it up into two time periods. One of them is going to be November to February, and then the other one's going to be March uh, to October. Now, this one's only four months long, and this one's, you know, eight months long, but, uh, you know, Fred, Fred values each of them equally because, you know, he really loves uh, Florida in winter, so he, he, he values this November to February time uh, just as much, uh, even though it's a shorter amount of time because he likes the winter more. Um, so, then Martha gets to pick whichever, uh, piece that, sh you know, whichever time period, uh, she wants. So Martha now chooses, and, uh, you know, maybe she doesn't really care which one, uh, she, li sh uh, she gets. She likes all the time equally. Uh, and so she's gonna pick this one because in her mind, it's worth eight twelfths or about sixty-six, seven, 0.7% of the whole. So Fred is worked, uh, is left with something he values at 50%, and Martha gets a piece that she values at about 67%.